the suddenness of the absolute goodbye. A few days ago, I came across this local cinema, which only had one line item on its marquee, goodbye. I found it to be shocking because just the week before, the marquee was full of movie titles. And although the chain which owns this cinema indicated that it was having financial trouble, even still, it was the suddenness of the closure and the finality of the goodbye, which was stunning. Nevertheless, even with the sudden closure, I realized there was a behind-the-scenes chain of events which led up to the closure. Also, it was the realization of the playing out of those behind-the-scenes chain of events that left patrons of the cinema location with the only option available to them, stare up at the goodbye and disbelief. In similar fashion, many women are facing the same absolute goodbye condition when it comes to we men. But instead of the goodbye line item being on a physical cinema marquee, that goodbye is written on the cinema marquee of our lives. For the women who look upon that goodbye, there is the disbelief of the finality of that goodbye. There is also indignation on the part of women because they believe we men have no right to say goodbye. Even further, women, because of their refusal to take accountability for their actions, cannot see that they caused the behind-the-scenes chain of events which led up to the absolute goodbye on the cinema marquee of our lives. It is because women came into the cinemas of our lives with controlling demands to see in-real-life movies play out in our lives like Me Too, A Woman's Way to Easy Money, or Paternity Fraud in Three Easy Steps, or Divorce Rape, The Ultimate Man Ender, or The Art of Narcissistic Torture, The Amber Heard Story, or My Name is Rhoda Osmond, a.k.a. The Queen Who Dogpiled Black Men Worldwide, or New Jack Grifting, starring Hannah Pearl Davis, or I Graduated, screenplay by Tia Maui. It was the aforementioned forced upon us in real life movie selections, plus the stickiness of the spilled popcorn, drinks, etc., aka how women enjoyed the negative effects forced upon we men by doing what they did to us, which began an untenable buildup of debt that made it no longer worth it to have women in the cinemas of our lives. This debt was not only financial, but it was also the debt burden of mistrust which women had built up and could never repay. And instead of hearing our warnings and pleas to not do these things, women instead chose to continue on as if nothing was wrong, a.k.a. they chose to gaslight we men in every way possible. As a result, women are finding out the hard way that the doors to the cinemas of our lives are permanently locked. Up on our cinema marquees is just a simple goodbye. And as well, if we men choose to leave a sign on the locked doors of the cinemas of our lives, it is simple in nature. I don't need you, nor do I want you in my life anymore. And as women pound on those locked doors of the cinemas of our lives in disbelief, we men who have locked those doors are moving on with our lives by going our own way in freedom and in peace.